Military shot a Rohingya dead in Bhuti Down. Myanmar Rohingya jailed for traveling. International conclave on justice accountability for Rohingyas in the Netherlands. A Rohingya elderly man is shot dead by Myanmar military in Bhuti Down, Arakan State today at around 8:30 a.m. The victim is identified as Siddiqui Ahmed, son of Sultan Ahmed from Sin Thae Pien village of Bhuti Down, and he is a fisherman by profession and was surviving on an income not even from hand to mouth. While Ahmed was fishing at his local fish farm in the morning, the military targeted him with a killing bullet that hit his head, and he immediately. fell to his death on the spot though he was holding proper documentation and took military permission prior to going for fishing in addition to his looking white bearded in his late 60s the military just shot him dead out of their brutality the rohingyas remaining inside their native land are so restricted and confined that they need permission even to go for fishing and farming in the same village they live let alone leave the village despite this their lives don't matter most people are surviving below the poverty line and on the other hand they face systematic persecution of the authorities and buddhist extremists Myanmar authorities should immediately release 30 Rohingya Muslims detained for attempting to travel from Rakhine state to the city of Yangon Human Rights Watch said today The government should lift all travel restrictions on ethnic Rohingyas and repeal discriminatory regulations that limit their right to freedom of movement Police arrested the group of Rohingyas on September 26 2019 A week later a court sentenced 21 of them to 2 years in prison and sent 8 children to a child detention center the youngest a 5 year old is being held at patin prison with his mother myanmar authorities seem intent on persecuting rohingyas whether they stay at home or try to travel freely in the country said brad adams asia director these 30 men women and children are being punished for simply seeking an escape from the daily brutality they've been subjected to for years the authorities apprehended the group of traveling without official permits and documentation after they arrived in ayer yawa the region via boat from Sitwe township in central Rakhine state the group was en route to Yangon where they planned to seek work or attempt to continue onward to Malaysia according to media reports it's a cruel irony that these rohingya will be trading what was effectively confinement to open air detention in Rakhine state for confinement in a state prison in Pathin said Brad Adams Asia director Experts from Bangladesh and abroad will meet at an international conclave on Rohingya crisis to be held in The Hague, Netherlands on October 18 to bring focus to the issue of justice and accountability for Rohingyas. The Center for Peace and Justice (CPJ) of Rock University, Asia Justice Coalition and the International Institute of Social Studies (ISS) of Erasmus University Rotterdam will organize the event said a press release. Since 2017, Bangladesh has been host sting over a million Rohingya refugees also known as forcibly displaced Myanmar nationals FTMN this is in addition to hosting an already large Rohingya refugee community that has crossed over for decades resulting in Bangladesh accommodating 4.7% of total global refugee population the international crimes committed in Myanmar against the Rohingyas have triggered a number of accountability initiatives including a case before the International Criminal Court on forced deport tension as a crime against humanity aim of the conclave to bring justice and accountability to the center of the rohingya refugee crisis this conclave is organized around discrete but interconnected aims which include one highlight the various justice and accountability initiatives underway globally as well as the need for multifaceted approaches toward a sustainable solution two mobilize public and policy support for these initiatives including consolidating a civil society network to advocate for their accountability and promote social justice examine root causes and ongoing policy changes challenges in order to inform future advocacy strategies and ensure justice and accountability for the rohingyas <laughs>